Okay, so now our button was working, everything is cool. So at this point in time, what I want to do, I want to make a slight tweak. So I want to add a function to my code. So in this case now, I want to create this function here, calculate button clicked. And then what I want to do is I want to replace this here. So for the time being, I'm going to move this re alert. I'm going to move this up here. And then I am going to put this logic. So I'm going to say, Calculate button clicked. I'm going to put this here. So every time a button is clicked, it will call this function here. So let's see if that still works. So if I go to Control R, I say here clicked times two. I run that, and that's kind of working. Okay. So now what we're going to be doing? We're going to start writing all our code in this function here. So now I want to go back. To my instructions and what what's happening here at this point in time they're giving me all the logic everything that i need to do here so button click so what we can do now is we can copy all of this code actually we can copy this into our function so let's just see so we run this. So there's one small thing here, bull string field. We call it bull string element. So we just need to make sure that our element reference matches with the code that they're using. Control V in here. Let's delete that. So if we walk through this code, we get the value. So let's just put an alert here. Alert, we have bull string we just for the time being see what's happening so if we go here we control r we put in bill we run that okay so that's working fine still so now for the rest of it you'll see that it's getting all the bill items it splits them with a comma it loops through them it calculates check whether it's a bill or SMS and then it puts the total in rounded bill total element what did we call our so again bill total so we called our one bill total element so we need to make sure that our reference here where the bill total needs to be displayed is the right one bill total element Bill string field. Okay, so let's have a look to see what's happening now. So if we refresh this and I put in call, let's see. Okay, that's working. SMS 350. If I put in another call, see that total goes up. So the important thing to look check here now is this bottom here, the part at the bottom is where it is taking the total and when you press the button it puts ads on the screen so just to show you quickly if I were to go here and I put here 12.35 what do you think would happen so if you refresh this now I click on the button you see it puts that total there but that's not what we want we want this total that they are calculating here to be displayed on the button or on the screen and to, for that we use inner HTML we get the element we got the element that was that's this element if I go here and I say inspect and I were to click here click here and go there you'll see that that's bold total and in our code we got bold total and that's then where we put the value once we calculated it with this code that's going on here so now we have a functional widget that works when we put in SMS. So two SMSs should be one rand fifty. We run that. Okay, so I need to refresh first. So we want to say a SMS, comma SMS, calculate. So that's one rand fifty. So our widget is working very well now.